Hi everyone, today we're talking about a seller's market, but it's not a slam dunk when you list your home in a seller's market, because the home has to be first of all well priced, but it also has to be well prepared. So you need to do the little jobs around the house that you've been meaning to do, just so there's no negative thoughts when a, when a buyer comes to the property, he doesn't start picking up on things that need doing. And remember for you, a job could cost $500, but to a buyer, it could be $5,000, you know, there's, it's always a more expensive job for the buyer in his mind than it is for a seller. Um, it's not always about price when it's a seller's market. Sometimes it can be just about good conditions or a clean offer, as we call it in uh, real estate. So basically, you put in a fair offer, but maybe your contingencies, your conditions are just the usual, you know, home inspection, uh, which the lender will require. And that you're cleared for your finance, you check with the bank, everything's good, you're good to go. And the seller knows that, so the buyer has to be ready to go. And if the buyer keeps it clean, it's not always, especially in multiple offers, it's not always about the best price. It's about the cleanest conditions. This looks good, he's qualified or she's qualified, they're ready to go. And the buyer, or I should say the seller, is, is more likely to accept it because he doesn't want the deal to fall through, you know, on finance and it collapses and then um, he's had it off the market. He's got to put it back on the market again. So it, it becomes a kind of old listing, if you like. And that's basically, um, in a brief, uh, a seller's market. That's what it is less inventory, more buyers, less houses to pick from. I'm Stuart J. Lowe.